sprint interval training is all about 30 seconds or less going as hard as possible. So you're hitting that nine to 10 on a rating and perceived exertion. You feel like you're going to throw up at the end, but then you're fully recovering. So you might be walking down a hill that you've just tried to sprint up, or you might pedal really lightly on a bike, or you might walk around the room after you've done 30 second of burpee or thrusters or some other kind of movement that you might be working on in the gym. But your recovery time might be two to three minutes, bringing everything down because we want to be completely ready to go for that next 30 seconds. It's really, really intense exercise, but the benefits for that is then we end up with better blood vessel control, which helps reduce hot flash responses as well. We have epigenetic change within the muscle. So this means that we're changing the muscle itself to be able to pull more glucose in without insulin. So it helps with that insulin resistance that comes with perimenopause. And again, we have that subsequent post-exercise response that then allows us to drop cortisol and increase our parasympathetic responses. So that means better sleep. 